Welcome developers. From this video, we have started our modern web development journey. In the previous video, you have showed guys a lot of support. Thanks for that. In the previous video, we have learned that how does website work? We have understand client server, HTTP request response. We have understand that what is front end, back end, and also full stack. And also we have understand, we have listened that brother, HTML, CSS, JavaScript is the core of a website. All right, perfect. And also we have understand that every single page is built by HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So if we want, we, if we want to be a web developer, then we must have to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Perfect. And also we have seen an example of what exactly HTML, CSS, JavaScript is by using this skeleton, this style person, and also the brain, the functionality. Now let's go and master HTML basics in this video. Okay, first we will learn what is HTML, HTML editor, where we will write HTML code, HTML structure, HTML tags, element, headings, paragraph. Now let's understand what is HTML. HTML is turned for hypertext markup language in simple meaning. But have you understand? No, I know that you didn't. Now, trust me, trust me, you will understand that what is hypertext markup language. For that, I will go to YouTube. Now here you can see if I hover this, a link is popping up in the left bottom side. You can see this called hyper, this called hypertext. Meaning if I click on this text, it will transfer me to another page meaning it's help us to navigating one page to another simple this is called hypertext brother yes the text that is hyper like that is a jumping text if i click on settings you will see i'm another page this is hypertext and this is the use of hypertext so if i just click on notification in the notification text it will show it will transfer me to another page that means it's navigating me one page to another, one section to another. So this is the thing that is hypertext exactly, brother. Have you understand? Have you understand? If you understand, comment below. And now let's understand markup. Well, markup is a method of defining a structure or presentation of a content. For example, let's go to YouTube again, where you are watching this video. Now here you can see different, different things. For example, there is a text, there is an input field, there is an icon, there is an image, right? How the browser will understand that we want to insert an image. There is a predefined structure. The structure itself is a markup. So we have understand hypertext and also markup. So simply it's a language because we have to follow a set of rules or a syntax. With that, the browser will understand, okay, this guy wanted to show a document or image or icon so have you understand hypertext markup language meaning if you understand comment below now let's go and see that how a website looks like when there is only html let's go in youtube where you are watching this video now i'm going to a inspect mode if you don't know what is it just don't be overwhelmed because we are going to learning in our upcoming videos so i'm just clicking the right button of the mouse and going to inspect so this is it and i'm just going to the top and i'm just showing that what is header okay this is the header part click on it and just click on delete now what you can see here this is our youtube yes this is our youtube you can see this is youtube.com but this is uh, the look when there is just only html you can see so without CSS, you can see that how a website looks like. Now, if I just refresh, so this is not safe permanently. If I just refresh this, it will gone. If I just go to code with here and here, if I just open it. And again, I'm just going to the inspect. You can go, you can check out to your website if you understand what I'm doing. I'm just deleting the heading part from the website. And you can see this is YouTube, whatever you can see here, Simply, we can also insert all the things by using HTML. So what we can do without HTML? Nothing. For example, this web page doesn't exist. Where you will style? Where you will add functionality? If there is no markup thing, like nothing, there is no documents in which you will style, right? 
So HTML is important that we must have to learn. And that's why we have understand what is HTML. With that, we have understand what is HTML. To create our first web page, definitely we have to write our HTML code. Do you write HTML code in your notepad? Really not. We have to write in our computer, right? Now you might think that definitely there is a coding software. With that, we are going to write our HTML code. You are correct. So we are going to use ID, integrated development environment. We will write on that environment. Okay. Now we have to install the application. For that, I will just go to again. Okay, I'm just reloading it. It says so danger. Perfect. It's back to normal. And now I'm just going a new tab and search here Visual Studio Code or VS Code. You can search here. So visit it and download it. If you are in Mac, it will show you a download for Mac. And if you're in Windows like me, and then it will show you the download for Windows. Click on download, download it, and simply install it like your other application install, right? So already I have installed this application in my machine. Here you can see Visual Studio Code, or we can search here from Valorant, not Valorant. Anyway, we can play our Valorant together. Join Discord server. A link will be in the description box. I will search Visual Studio Code and open it. Okay. It will show you like this when you open for the first time. Okay, perfect. Now don't be overwhelmed. What is it? We will understand. We want to be coder. We have to understand all the things, right, brother? So here you can see a file manager. You can see also explorer. There is search option, debugging option. We will explore it when we will learning JavaScript. There is source control. Don't you have to touch it right now? And there is extension, a plugin market, you can say. And there's profile, account, uh, settings, all the things that you can change from the settings of the Visual Studio Code. You can watch a tutorial on it. You can comment below if you want to. to uh, see how we can set up our development environment more like a professional. You got the point. Okay. So there is the option to go to the settings from here also. So we will be familiar when we will be learning all the things day by day. We will be familiar also with the coding environment. With that, we have successfully set up our development environment or IDE. Now let's go to the presentation and mark it that we have downloaded our HTML editor or IDE Visual Studio Code. Now let's understand HTML structure or boilerplate. Okay. Now, right now we are going to create our first web page using HTML. Are you ready? Let's go, brother. Go to the Visual Studio Code and I'm just opening a, my folder and I'm just creating another folder here that will be uh, HTML lessons. Perfect. And I'm just dragging and dropping it here. Perfect. Right now we are inside our folder. So now just click on this new file option to create a new file and type here index. You can type another name index.html because we are creating HTML file. If we want to create, for example, CSS file, then we will type CSS. If we want to create JavaScript file, we will type JavaScript. Is it? No. We will type JS. That means there is predefined extension that we have to must follow. For that, HTML for creating HTML file. And here we will code. Okay. When you type here bang option that will show you the emit abbreviation, click on it. If the text is going outside your display, what you have to do? Go to the setting, setting and type here wrap. It will show the word wrap and just turn on turn on it and just save it control save and just cross it and here you can see this is inside our display and this is the breaking the line where we cannot see okay by seeing this structure don't be overwhelmed i'm just deleting all the things don't be worried don't worry right now we will type here greater than sign a bang sign and then we will type doc type and then html now what it is doing we are declaring that browser can understand it will not show to our website a browser can understand that we are writing html5 simple okay now we will type here a less than sign html we will close this and it's automatically just completing the whole tag what is it okay this is opening tag and this is called closing tag now already i have told you that html has a structured a syntax that we have to follow 
the markup that we have to follow okay so this is the method the markup so this is opening tag and this is closing tag with the slash one is extra thing okay there is one kind of tag that is called self closing tag that really don't need to open it and just close it like it's open and closed by himself for example this this is a self closing tag and there is also many bunch of tags that is self closing for example br for example hr we will be learning all the things later for making our template or making our boilerplate inside the html tag we will type here another tag that will be head hit enter all the tags syntax are same so it will be like this for making the boilerplate we have to write another tag that is called body we have done with this and this is the structure of html yes yes this is recommended but this is not mandatory you have to write it and this is mandatory you must have to write to create a web page inside the head tag that will goes like a metadata where the seo goes where the title of a website goes basically inside the head tag that we will write that will not shown in our website i will show you right now anyway inside the body tag all the contents that you want to show in your website that goes here for example inside the head tag i'm typing here title if I just type here title, it will just auto completed by the Visual Studio code, but you have to write it. Now you have to write here, for example, I want to type here that our first website, web page, I will say. And inside the body tag, I will just type here, hello world. Okay, perfect. Not word, hello world. And just press console save. For example, whatever you will write here, whatever you will edit you will see a dot option here white dot you have to just press ctrl s to save this you will it will gone right with that we have created our first web page now we want to see it for that simply we will go to the extension and we will install extension that will call live server now let's click on it just install this live server that is that is made by just read weekday and it's installed and when it's installed you will see a live server live go live option here okay anyway we can just click on a file just if i just go to the folder and if i just go there if i just click on it i will see it what do you can see here this is our first web page that we have made you see now let's see here you can see this first web page that we have put inside the title if i change here our first website for example update it and if i just control save and i will just go to the browser it is not changed because we have to refresh it and when we refresh it you can see this is first web page updated definitely we will not refresh every time we change for that we will do a thing that is go live option if i just click on it it will automatically pop up a new window and it will show you but this time you don't need to refresh all the time whatever we will change here for example this if you just just press on save here if i just go this you can see real time changes okay perfect with that we have created our first web page if i just go to the visual studio code and delete all the things and again click on bang option and just press on it and just here you can see this is meta chart and meta name just ignore it we don't need right now and the language you can define or you cannot this is up to you no no problem so this is again the same thing that we have created previously by our own so inside the body tag whatever we will write our first web page you can see this is document the title we will document and first web if i just go and you can see the document our first web page that is changed so we have understand that what is the basic structure of html we have understand that what is tag so it's called tag and it's a major part in html and that follows same syntax we have seen html structure boilerplate even we have created have you created if you don't create right now have you noticed that we have also understand html tags yes now let's understand elements and heading paragraphs all the things okay so we have understand that this is a tag now what's called element basically what element called a full tag from uh, opening to closing with the content it's called 
a element. Here, what you can see, a paragraph, a opening tag, and a closing tag. And there is a content. So whole the thing is an element. You got the point. For body, this is an element. This is an element. Even this is an element. Whoever has a content and also opening and closing tag, this is an element. And singly, we will say this is opening tag, this is closing tag. Have you understand? Comment below. We will mark that we have understand HTML tags and elements. Let's go. Now let's create a tag. You start bracket h1 okay and just i'm just put here a content that will be this is a heading okay another tag okay so this will be a heading and this will be a paragraph so i'm just a starting tag and i will just type here that will be this is a paragraph simple now let's go and our server is running so if i just go and just check it you can see this two text is showing differently because we have followed a markup we have followed the structure each one is defining that this heading tag each one is defining that this is a heading with a priority one the most priority heading so there is six kind of heading so if i just type here h2 this is and also we have heading six and this is heading six perfect and also after that we have a paragraph okay so we didn't save it so just control save it make sure and if i just go here you can see this is bold this is heading one heading two heading three heading four heading five and heading six and this is a paragraph lastly so this is the thing that browser understand okay this person wants to write a heading definitely we can by css we can change the style of it we can uh, make the text bigger or smaller so have you understand that when we follow the markup that the browser understand okay we have to show this text like this even this is a text this is a text but it's showing differently with that we have created our first web page in html have you created if you don't create it right now by your own and with that, we have just completed HTML headings and also paragraph. So that is it for this video. We will meet you in the next video. And make sure that you have subscribed our channel, Code with Jihad. Let's go and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And if you didn't understand anything, just comment me below. That is it for today. Thanks for watching.